on. Um, first off, I just want to say I love the album cover. I don't know, something about it is just different and bright, and I don't know, I really like it. But uh, yeah, I'm here to talk about Emma Rosa's brand new full-length album, and it's self-titled. It's just called Emma Rosa, and they're a six-piece band from Lexington, Kentucky, which I had no idea. I if, I, I probably would have thought they were from California for all I know, so... But, um, yeah, they're a six-piece band, and they're from, and they're on Rise Records, um, a label I don't really care for, and I have to say, this band is by far the best band on that label, so, um, yeah, uh, so to describe their music, they're, they're kind of like a, it's really hard to describe, because I guess you can call them, a, like, a heavy, like a post-hardcore, um, heavy rock uh, band, I guess. Uh, it's really hard to describe because um, they're not Screamo, but they're like a heavier rock band um, leaning more towards a post-hardcore and um, in my opinion, what makes this band stand out against any other band is their vocalist Johnny Craig. This guy is ridiculous. He is the man. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty much new to the whole Johnny Craig game. I just probably discovered him maybe late last year, and this dude can sing. This guy is by far probably the best male vocalist um, in the scene right now. Um, so music-wise, to me, it kind of sounded like heavier moments of Circus Survive meets Perceptions vs. Emerge meets Secret and Whisper meets Emery. It's just, if you take those four bands and if you can combine all four of those uh, sounds, you, this is probably what you would get. But Johnny Craig, he has like this R&B tone to his voice that it's like beyond singing in a, in a hardcore, post-hardcore band. It's just, this dude can wail. And the only way to describe it is picture like Patrick Stump from Fall Out Boy, because you know how he has the R&B tone to his voice, which is the reason why they stand out. It's kind of the same reason why this band stands out. This dude can sing, and it's he's amazing. Um, so this album has 10 tracks, and I'm totally unfamiliar with their past work, so I can't even really dis compare it to their other albums, but I have to say this album is incredible. It is fantastic. All ten tracks are amazing. Um, I love it. Uh, the only thing is, at first, when I first listened to this album, to this album, uh, there was a few songs that stood out, and some of the other ones kind of didn't. And the reason that is is because they all kind of have a similar tempo, but you have to listen listen to it like two, three times, because by the third time. I loved every song and they all stood out. So it may take a while for some of the songs to stand out against the rest of them, but once you give it a few shots, you, you will love this and you will love every song. Um, there, there's some of the faster sounding songs because there, there's not really any song that are particularly crazy fast or crazy slow. They all kind of, most of them have like a mid tempo, a little faster than mid tempo sound. Um, but the faster ones are like, uh, the game played right, which is great. Share the sunshine, young blood is amazing. Kind of had the guitar line kind of reminded me of like Circus Survive, and um, I still feel her part four. Those songs are like, if you want some faster sounding ones, go to those. But if you want songs with like amazing choruses, choruses that'll get you stuck, that'll get stuck in your head. And I, I've read some people complain that they they don't know how to write good choruses, but I totally disagree. Songs like um, the weight of the weight of love's blind eyes, amazing chorus. Um, Live it, love it, lost it, great chorus as well. And finally, truth hurts while laying on your back is so fantastic. If you if you want big choruses, check those songs out. Um, and one of my favorite songs altogether is the first song called "A Toast to the Future Kids." And when you go to it, oh, the the first thing you hear is his vocals and like a, a guitar strum every now and then but that just kind of kicks off the album lets you know 
if you want some amazing singing, we're going to start off with some amazing singing. And then it gets heavier, some screaming in there, which is scattered here and there throughout the album. But fantastic song, amazing chorus as well. Just a great song to, to I guess, introduce you to the album. So fantastic. Um, I'm going to give this, st this album five stars. It's amazing. This band, I see, like, if this band can get, like, one single on the radio they will just take off because they're this close to being huge and i know warp tour is is gonna get them even bigger for sure i have a feeling they're gonna be one of the standouts at warp tour one of the bands that everybody is, is gonna talk about um definitely check this album out uh my favorite songs are a toast to the future kids the weight of love's blind eyes and um share the sunshine young blood even though it's tough because uh, there, a lot of the songs are fantastic on this album. Definitely check this album out. Buy it if you can find it. Um, it's it's a very very good musically album and singing wise and choruses and everything is just fantastic. Five stars. Pick this shit up for real. <laughs>